How to Manage Account Packages in WHM Packages in WHM allow you to save your hosting plans for reuse by accounts in the future. When creating an account, you're given the option of saving the account's features to a new package. You can also create packages elsewhere in WHM. This tutorial will show you how to do that, as well as how to edit and delete a package. Locate the Packages category. Let's start by adding a new package. Click Add Packages. You should quickly notice that this looks very similar to the form you filled out when setting up a new account. Enter a name for the new package. All of these resource options allow you to enter unlimited as a value if that's what you wish to do. There's no such thing as unlimited disk space, despite what some hosts may want customers to think. Offering that can be deceiving. Let's give this package a limit of 10 GB, specified in megabytes. Next, set a monthly bandwidth limit. Bandwidth is more readily available than disk space, so we'll set the limit to 100 GB. Now, enter how many FTP accounts you want the client to be able to add, at maximum. Scroll down. Repeat with email accounts and mailing lists at your discretion. Limiting an account to a certain number of SQL databases can help keep their resource usage down. However, experienced users will be able to bypass that effect by using one database for a number of programs. Let's set a reasonable limit for this plan. Let's leave max subdomains as unlimited, but set max parked domains to 6. A parked domain is a domain name that sits on top of another, serving the same website to a client's browser. They're commonly used when website owners have the same domain on multiple top-level domains, such as with demo1234.com and demo1234.org. Add-on domains, on the other hand, allow a client to host a completely different website than the main site. Since add-on domains are more likely to use more resources, let's limit those to five. In essence, the client is limited to hosting six individual websites. Scroll down. Dedicate an IP address to be used solely by this account, if you wish. Giving customers shell access can cause a number of security issues if your server isn't configured correctly. We recommend disabling shell access, at least for the smaller packages you offer. Most users won't have the slightest clue how to use the shell anyway. Uncheck this box to disable shell access. The front page extensions for Apache have security issues and bugs. Front page itself has been discontinued since 2006. We therefore recommend that you don't enable front page extensions either. CGI access can and should be left enabled in most cases. Select a different default cPanel theme from the list if you wish. You can also choose from a number of languages for the client's account to use by default. Last, select a feature list from the menu or just leave it set to default. Scroll down. At the bottom, you'll see a notice that you should read over if you wish to create a package that can only be seen by a specific reseller. When finished here, click Add. Our new package has now been created. Now, let's take a quick look at the Edit Packages page. Choose a package from the list. Then, press the Edit button. The information we entered a moment ago has been recalled into the same form. Note that you cannot change a package's name once it's been created. 
Finally, to delete a package, go here. Select a package from the list. Then click Delete. The package has been successfully deleted. That's it! You've learned all you need to know about managing packages in WHM.